What up? It's been a while since I made a video, but I'm back and I'm coming at you with an Ubuntu tutorial. It's going to be really boring. It's also going to be really short because I haven't done this in a while and I plan to bring some videos on how to install some management software like UNMS, Unify, controllers and whatnot. And I install all those on Ubuntu server. So I figured why not make my first video back on just how to install Ubuntu server on an instance of Unraid. It's it's easy. I'll, I'll give you that. It's, it's going to be boring. But just just a little bit. I've been gone for like, oh shoot, I don't know what, nine months. I haven't put any new videos out. I, I had plans to do a, a CCNA course and a bunch of other Cisco stuff, but I recently discovered Ubiquity networking gear, and I've been getting really into that, plus a little bit of uh, some server stuff. So I actually, I actually just bought myself a new server. It's in my, um, my, my network rack in my laundry room. I'm uh, have, having a ton of fun with that. Put Unraid on it, swapped over my old server to it, and it's freaking awesome. So I'm probably going to make a bunch of videos revolving around servers and Unraid and whatnot. But right now I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu server on an instance of Unraid and prepare to be bored to death. So here we go. Here is the uh, VM section of my Unraid server. We're just going to add a new Ubuntu VM by going to the templates down at the bottom, selecting Ubuntu. And we're, gonna, we're just going to name this one uh, test, and the description will be test as well. Now, I don't like to overlap um, processor cores for any of my VMs. don't think that's a very good idea, but it's probably not the worst thing if you have to do that if you're not running very many. But as you can tell, I, I have some cores to work with. So I'm going to put this one on cores 4 and 5. And I'm going to gloss over the OS install um, ISO for right now. And primary virtual disk size, I'm going to make it uh, 15 gigs. Why not? Uh, that's pretty much all you need to do to get this thing ready for a, a virtual machine. Um, also, make sure the network bridge is on BR, the, the bridged adapter, not, in, not a virtual one, because it'll do NAT and won't be a part of your local network at all. But just make sure that that is there if you want to be able to directly connect to it without doing some uh, some fancy wizardry. Um, for the OS install, Unraid is supposed to give me a drop down menu showing me all of my shares where my disk images are. But for whatever reason, that is broken. So don't worry, I've already gotten the path. I'm just going to copy that in there. Um, if your instance of Unraid is doing the exact same thing, the only thing you got to do is go to your shares tab and browse using a, these uh, the view icons at the right. Uh, wherever you put your disk images, just, just hit the view icon for that share. And at the top here will be the, um, the path that you want to copy and paste into, uh, into the virtual machine creation. But now that we've got that, we can just hit create and I'm going to leave start VM after creation checked so that it automatically boots up. Only thing we got to do now is just click on it and go to VNC remote. And here we go. This is going to be fun, guys. Not really. It's just going to be pretty much hitting enter a lot and throwing in some names. But there is a few interesting things, especially with no VNC and Unraid, that if it happens, I'll, I'll show you how to get around these weird issues. Uh, nope, don't detect a keyboard layout. English, US. Wait around a little bit. See what else it's going to ask me. If you guys have any ideas for videos or software or anything to how to install it, I mean, I'll make it. I'm pretty much grasping at straws for anything right now. Uh, the only About the only thing I've got is uh, go to this website copy and paste this line of code and hit enter in, in an Ubuntu instance. That's, uh, that's about as technical as I'm getting right now. I really want to get back into that Cisco stuff though. Alright, so now we want to give it a host name. We're just going to call it what we named it in Unraid test. Here's one of those weird issues I'm talking about. I just typed a test and it's not doing anything. Um, if you're in no VNC on an Unraid virtual machine and it does this shit to you, just move your mouse. It's the dumbest thing ever enter 
and move the mouse and it goes every time if as long as you are moving the mouse it will proceed if you don't move the mouse you're, you're gonna be waiting forever full name of the new user we're just we're just gonna call the user test also and wiggle the mouse enter wiggle the mouse oh, it's already already says test enter wiggle mouse and a password we're, well I'm just gonna give it the password of Ubuntu wiggle the mouse enter wiggle the mouse this is probably the most fun you can have while um, creating a virtual machine when you have to move the mouse the entire time just to get it to go. You have a weak password. Yes, I know that. So go over. Yeah, there we go. Enter. And now I don't want to encrypt the home directory. Wait a little longer. Yep, that time zone is correct. Enter. So far I've typed test two times and the password Ubuntu two times, and that's it. Yep, use the entire disk. <laughs> yep, that is the entire disk. Yes, write the changes. Come on, maybe if I move it faster, it will go faster. Yep, uh, I, I wanna use the whole disk. And yes, I do want to force UEFI installation. Yes, I do want to write the changes to the disk. The funny thing is that this gets the virtual machine is not this slow because as soon as we SSH into this is is going to be just lightning fast and this is the long part definitely time to grab a beer between this and here we go once it's done with that it's gonna ask you if you have a proxy we don't and then it's gonna start up again wait a minute it might not start up again I think next is the package installation that's what I'm trying to say okay we want no automatic updates at least for now move the mouse Mm -hmm. All right, the packages. This is where the real fun kicks in, especially when you have to move the mouse to do this. So we're going to go down, and I want the Samba file server, because I want to be able to connect to this and move files around via SMB using, I think, I think it's SMB client is what Samba is. And you press space to select it. Do not press enter. I don't know how many times I did that when I was first installing all of mine, but do not press enter if you want these packages oh I am good mmm just wait for it to select and then now press enter and keep moving that mouse okay now comes well, this is about as long as the last time it did this so this is a good beer break I'm actually gonna run and get one right now How long are we at? All right, there we go. After all that waiting, it is done. Just press enter and it's gonna reboot itself. Don't worry about saying remove the boot media. Unraid doesn't care. So once this screen goes black, oh, it's gotta do this. After this, we can SSH into it. Now, if you don't have the Windows feed, well, if you're on Windows, first of all, if you're on Windows and you don't have the SSH feature, installed then you're going to want to probably use something like putty which is what i'm going to use if you're on osx you have no problem sshing in anything actually if you're on osx here's the command you're going to use to connect to it ssh and your username which what what did we say our username was test so you do test at and then the ip address of the server which actually is what we have to find out right now because since we just set that up with no configs it's going to pull an ip via DHCP. So since we don't know what address it pulled, we need to go to our DHCP server and find out which one that is. Now, I'm running a Edge Router X. So I'm going to actually go to my UNMS management server to find out which uh, IP it pulled. So do do. And if you have an ERX, 
and you want to know how to set this up, it's probably going to be my next video where we, we copy and paste some code into a Ubuntu server instance and it magically works. And, and if we go to my router, my active router, I only have one, and go down to DHCP leases, then I can see all of my DHCP leases and I've made a bunch of them static. Now the, what we're looking for is one with a host name of test, which actually, look at this, we've got two of them. Um, I'll let you in on a little secret. I messed up the first time I tried to record this video. I didn't turn my microphone on. So that was kind of a problem. So yeah, there, there's two test machines, but on yours there wouldn't be. I'm just going to assume that 123 is the latest one, since it's a higher IP. So if we open up PuTTY and we try to SSH to this uh, 10.88.88.123, then we should be right in our server. Now, if you've never used PuTTY before, you just, you, you've, got, you've got your different options here. Raw, Telnet, R Logon, SSH, whatever. We're using SSH. Um, it's probably a good idea to save this if this is going to be a, a server or something you're going to be using often. It's a good idea to have PuTTY and have saved sessions so you don't have to type in the IP every time you want to connect. So 10.88.88.123. And we're going to go ahead and save this as test server hit save and if we double click that it's going to SSH us to that server and it's going to ask you the first time uh, about keys whatever just press yes so now we can log into the server we just made uh, log in as test and our password was Ubuntu boom we're in now we can do whatever we want you can see if config you can see we got the 123 address now we can install whatever packages we want to the good practice is usually just do a sudo apt get update and yeah Ubuntu just kind of update the repositories and I mean you could do could do an upgrade I mean I mean you know your server's ready for whatever you want to put on there now it's it's there it's in Unraid it's working you can SSH to it since it's on our Ubuntu server you're not gonna have a desktop everything's gonna be done through command line there's really no need for that no VNC which is why I always put the open SSH server on my Ubuntu VMs because it, it's command line anyway I don't need to use no VNC or anything like that to manage it having it no SSH or uh, open SSH on there already just go ahead and connect to it and also by having the uh, Samba file server I can go ahead and copy stuff over easily which I'm sure there is a just as easy way to do that without it but that's what I'm used to using so that's why I always do that so anyway, this has been how to install Ubuntu Server on an instance of Unraid. Told you it was going to be boring. There was nothing to that. You pretty much just watched me hit enter for about five or six minutes. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, stay around for my next videos. I'm going to be installing UNMS on, a, uh, on another instance of Ubuntu Server. Probably actually this one. And then after that, we'll put Unify on one and set up some Ubiquity access points or something like that. I don't know. Really don't know. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.